Welcome to day two of our 17 day how to succeed buying insurance leads. Today we're going to be covering lead buying prep. What should you be doing before you even think about buying insurance leads? Again, especially if it's your first time ever buying insurance leads. Christian, let's say you're a brand new agent. You've never bought insurance leads before. What is one of the first things that you would recommend doing? You know, I think if you've never bought leads before, there's a couple of things I think you need to be aware of, right? Having the right expectations of the leads, I think is everything, right? Yes. So there's so many times, and I only hear this from people that are brand new that have never called a lead a day in their life, where they're like, they're like, if they're, I, I talked to an agent one time and he was like, he was like, what do you think of these leads? I'm like, well, they're all right, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't even remember what kind of leads we're talking about. And his response was like, he's like, well, I'm a pretty good salesperson. If they're any good, <laughs> I should get about a 90% close rate. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, then you are insurance God. Yes. That, you know, because yes. it's n n never happened. It's not going to start, you know, yep. unless you're just completely working referrals. So understand that going into it, that a healthy margin of close ratio is probably I would al I've always said anywhere between fifteen to twenty percent is kind of your average close ratio, right? On on leads, um, I think if you're doing higher than that, like if you're doing twenty five to to thirty percent, you're doing terrific. And anything above that is just absolutely fantastic. And some people be like fifteen percent, twenty percent. That that doesn't sound too good. Well, if you do the math on what you spend versus what right. you're making you're making substantially more. So it's it's a great ROI and that's why the lead game ultimately works. So have the proper expectations would be the first thing I would tell you. The second thing I would tell you is the first thing we want to find out is actually what kind of lead do, is it that you want? Right. Right. What right. is the type of person that you're wanting to target? That's a is great, it, great point. Is it Medicare supplement people? Are you looking for people that have Medicare supplements? Maybe you shop their rate and try to you know, write them on the same plan they have lower the rate? Are you trying to find turning 65 people? Are you trying to find final expense individuals? Well, who is it that you are looking for in particular? And identifying that I feel like is super key. And, and to me, I feel like those are the two things you need to prepare for. Like have the, I, the details of what you want in terms of your ideal lead, and then also have walk into it with the proper expectations. Glenn, what else do you think? Phil, you yeah, think I, you know? I think those are fantastic, by the way. The expectation thing, that's something, at, again, at Lead Heroes, guys, as CEO, I've been trying to manage expectations of insurance agents, agency owners, IMOs and FMOs for the past decade. <laughs> and what I, what I, I just, I can't stress it enough. Even though people lose track of the numbers, a lot of times they just think, with their mind, with their emotions, and they're like, oh man, that was a bad lead, or that was a bad, bad batch of leads. But if you are to actually pencil out the math and okay, I bought 30 leads, I closed three of them, each client has a lifetime value of over a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, I just generated over three thousand dollars in lifetime client value versus a five hundred dollar spend. You just got a six hundred percent ROI but you also had 27 leads that you didn't close. So it becomes this mindset perspective where are you coming to it with the right expectations? Are you coming to it realizing that if I just close 10%, I'm gonna have a big ROI? Or are you getting lost in the sauce and you're hearing all those no's and, you're in, and you get negative, you get down on yourself, nobody's buying, I only got three sales out of 30, I wanted to close 20 leads. So I think expectations are everything. The one thing I wanted to add is schedule. Mm. What is your schedule going to be and planning ahead of time? This isn't like Walmart where you just walk in, you grab something off the shelf, you throw it in the back of the car and you'll get to it when you get to it. You need to make sure that when you purchase these leads, you have the time set aside to work them, that your schedule is open, that you have a spot available to work them, whether you're working from home, you have an office you know, outside of your home. So having, having a place to work the leads and having a schedule that gives you the availability to work the leads because they don't work themselves. <laughs> yep. These insurance leads don't work themselves. It does require time and energy on your part. Otherwise, I would never even offer to sell in a single insurance lead, right? If it was as easy as generating it and they just sold themselves, obviously Christian and I would keep all of those for ourselves internally, but <laughs> there is a lot of work that goes into it. There is a lot of study that is required.
as an agent when it comes to creating that application. And that's the whole process, right? That That's how you go from spending money on marketing to hopefully generating an ROI. So that is our second video in our 17 day mini course series, how to succeed buying insurance leads. Right now at Lead Heroes, our Medicare supplement turning 65 and our final expense life insurance leads are all just $17. These are call verified exclusive insurance leads. You can't find a price like this anywhere. This no is the way. price of one mail drop. You're lucky if you do a one mail drop, you're lucky to get five leads back, maybe 10 leads back. You're going to get 30 guaranteed exclusive call verified leads. You just really don't see anything like this anymore. So I couldn't be more excited to have this opportunity for you guys. If you enjoyed these videos and you're looking for additional training, we also have the Seven Figure University at sevenfigureu.com. That link will also be below the video, uh, $77 a month, and you can have access to over 200 videos between Christian and myself on how you can continue to succeed in your insurance career. So that being said, Christian, any final thoughts on day two? You know, ultimately, guys, what I would tell you as my final thoughts on this video is just be prepared to work the leads like Glenn said. They don't work unless you do. And that would be my final thoughts. I love it. Happy selling, you guys. Yeah.